We are here for the final clash between the girls. Ladies College for the first time in the history of the Blue and Gold Hockey Sevens in the finals alongside HFC Vinnapur, the Holy Family Girls Convent Vinnapur. And both teams are playing in a final for the first time. Holy Family Convent Vinnapur and also Ladies College. So it's uh, they have done creditably well to come into the finals uh, uh, for the first time. Dialogue yeah. number, channel number 126, uh, YouTube and Facebook pages as well. And this is the start of the finals of the girls edition of the Blue and Gold Hockey Sevens. Well, a quick start from the HFC number seven, uh, Ishara Fernando for her side. So here's early advantage. Here's a replay of that play from Ishara Fernando. Got the ball straight towards the goalpost. It is Ishara Fernando again and uh, she wins another or rather the first penalty corner for HFC in the game. So yes, uh, last time we saw action here at the Blue and Gold Hockey Sevens at Reed Avenue. Here's Ishara again with an opportunity to take the shot. She does take the shot and the ball just goes out wide. A good start from the girls from Vinnapur. Here's a replay of that shot from Ishara. Absolutely, could have been a definite goal. Uh. Here's Ishara again uh, with an opportunity to take the shot. That will be the opening goal in this big final between Ladies College and Holy Family Girls College from uh, Wenapua. What a start for the, for the girls from Wenapua Muad. Absolutely. The skipper, Ishara Fernando, doing the duties as brilliant captains do. How strong she is, as you can see, untouchable. Well, her dribbling skills is unmatched by any other player on the field. Another quick shot taken by her and that will be the second goal for the girls from Wenapua. What a start. What a brilliant start for these girls. It's 2-0. We are just inside the third minute. Here's the replay of that goal. Ishara trying her luck in the first attempt and the number five was there Shikha. to take the rebound. Ishara on the other end with the ball. Again, she dribbles past with ease, trying her luck with the shot, just, just wide of the post, hitting her own player instead of the goal post. A very tactical move I see from Ishara. She, I think she faked her. Yeah. She, she did not it shows how big a football fan you are. Just uh, mistook uh, Ladies College for a Liverpool football club. Cross your mind. Get Absolutely. my thing straight. So anyhow, uh, here's the penalty corner from... Uh, the LC players, so they just lose position again. So HFC win Napua with the lead, with the score line of two nil. They still have position. They still have opportunity to score, and that will be half time. It's HFC win Napua two, and Ladies College nil here at Reed Avenue. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing! Introducing the Digital Youth Account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. So, Mr. Hetty uh, two schools uh, vying for the championship for the first time. It's debatable. So, uh, with the three courts here, you'd be surprised to know that we completed 90 games in the course of the first day of this tournament to get to the pre quarter final stage, as we see. Yes, and you see two basic batteries and there's a player coming up. It's going to be a very good fake to the right and a hard push straight into the pads of the ladies college keeper. We haven't got that many players behind the ball because they have confidence in their ability to clear the lines. And one miss there, there you go, there's the opportunity created and that's what and that's going to be probably a penalty corner. Lucky to not be awarded a penalty stroke because the goalkeeper was lying on that ball. As you can see the replay, Hetty. That's right. And as you can see, what I told you, the clearance with two players up front who can sweep around. The miss is made. Unfortunately, the decision is reversed because I think there has been a leg ball along the way. So the decision it's is reversed. Absolutely different, uh, really two different styles of matchups by the two teams deployed. Especially uh, ladies college girls seems to be lagging and lacking of uh, what to be, count, how to counter uh, this uh, heavy onslaught by the HFC Venapu girls. That's right. Uh, Amani, Amani Imran and Amani passes it on and it's outside the D. It's struck in, it hits the leg of uh, 
back just uh, in case the ball is missed as the ball comes out to the D top stopped outside the D and passed across to the right it's a case of now just taking the shot just wide of the left hand post and that leaves them hanging unfortunately that was a golden opportunity Talia De Fonseca taking that shot Talia unfortunately was not able to get in on target she had ample really promising play by the ladies college girls uh, a bit too little too late uh, seems like it does seem like that and that's cleared again off the goal line so this is a one last final opportunity for them to make an impact in this game it's very difficult in this sevens format when you can see two early goals to claw your way back into the game and that's a golden opportunity unfortunately that was very well milked as a penalty also by the hfc when up for defense uh, you need to be on the ball the snapshot needs to be taken at that point in time you don't have two goals proving to be the match decider here the girls finals of the 18th edition of the blue and gold hockey sevens and that's it the final whistle and it ends as it started in the first five minutes the two goals to nil win for hfc when up it's great to see a new champion this last year's third place coming up to be champions this championship runner-up in the girls category give it up for the colombo ladies ladies college colombo We would like to invite the teacher in charge and the coach as well, who is no stranger to us. He has done wonders with the ladies' college team. Amazing works. Great to see the ladies doing so well. Imagine as runner-up in this year's cup championship. together for this year's ladies champions holy family girls school win up give it up for the girls champions in the cup championships could we have the teacher in charge and the coach as well joining the team on stage to receive their medals Congratulations to the HFC girls from Benapur. An early blitz of two goals and that took them through. Great play by the HFC girls. Congratulations to the team, congratulations to the coach and congratulations to the school. And a 100% scholarship for each team member from ESOP. Give it up once again.